Welcome to the Literary Digest. Please subscribe to the channel or give a like and comment on this video if you find it helpful to help us reach more people. In a world of constant disruption, change is the new normal. As technology and other disruptors rapidly transform industries and redefine how we work, individuals and organizations must adapt or risk falling behind. The speed of transformation is only increasing and thriving in this environment requires more than just keeping up. You need to anticipate and embrace change. To succeed, you must go beyond reacting to external pressures. Whether you're leading a company, a team, or your own professional path, navigating disruption means adopting a new mindset, challenging outdated practices, and being bold in your decisions. The future will favor those who are agile, willing to take calculated risks and able to build trust within their organizations. In this summary, you'll discover the DARE mindset. DARE stands for Data, Agility, Risk, and Evolution and this mindset is critical for becoming and staying future ready. By harnessing the power of data and AI, fostering agility to adapt quickly, embracing risk to fuel growth and cultivating trust and collaboration to drive lasting evolution, you will be equipped to not only survive disruption but turn overwhelm into an opportunity for unprecedented success. Ready to step into the future? Then let's dive in. Chapter 1, D is for Data. Artificial intelligence or AI has rapidly transitioned from science fiction to present reality, reshaping industries and business models. However, the greatest risk for companies isn't AI itself but relying on outdated thinking in a post-AI world. Individuals and organizations who cling to old mental models will find it difficult to keep pace with AI-driven changes. To remain competitive, leaders must adopt a forward-thinking mindset that embraces exploration and innovation. AI's impact on every sector will be transformative, making company-wide adaptability an essential trait for future success. Never before have we held a tool that not only automates processes but also creates new solutions and makes independent decisions. In the next decade, the use of AI will skyrocket, allowing organizations that embrace hyper-automation and decentralized leadership to significantly enhance their business value and profitability. That said, as organizations become more digital, it's vital to remain focused on humanity. AI must be leveraged to empower people, not replace them. This means distinguishing between warm and cold AI technologies. Warm tech fosters human potential, boosting trust, equity, and well-being, while cold tech dehumanizes work, eroding trust, and harming communities. Prioritizing a human-first approach is key to unlocking AI's benefits while avoiding unintended consequences. Technological shifts must also be accompanied by cultural change. Traditional rigid work models that are slow to evolve won't thrive in this new environment. The future belongs to the anything workforce, dexterous, nimble and focused on value creation. In contrast, outdated workforce models that prioritize siloed specialization over flexibility will struggle. AI is not just reshaping how work is done, but also why we work. Leaders need to create a compelling narrative about AI's potential, outlining what it can and cannot do while fostering a culture of experimentation and learning. To successfully lead in an AI-driven future, you must adopt a dual mindset, bold enough to explore AI's immense possibilities, yet cautious enough to manage its risks effectively. Chapter 2, A is for Agility. Agility is no longer a luxury, it's a necessity. The future is continuing to accelerate and shows no signs of slowing down. A key aspect of agility is the ability to unlearn old habits and outdated practices. As organizations face constant disruption, the rate of unlearning must match the speed of change. Leaders who can unlearn and adapt quickly are better equipped to keep their companies relevant in an ever-evolving landscape. An essential part of this mindset is embracing failure as a tool for growth. The fail principle, or from action I learn, encourages leaders and teams to view failure as a valuable opportunity for learning. In this context, failure becomes a means to improve rather than something to avoid. 
By learning to fail productively, individuals and organizations can extract critical lessons from setbacks and build resilience. Failure, when approached correctly, can spur growth without damaging self-worth, making it easier to confidently move forward. To maximize the benefits of failure, teams must ask themselves hard questions in the wake of setbacks. What was the intended outcome? What actually happened? What can we learn from this? This process turns failure into a valuable learning experience, ensuring continuous improvement and adaptability. Another major obstacle to agility is bureaucracy. Many organizations are slowed down by internal inefficiencies rather than external threats. As businesses scale, complexity increases, leading to what's commonly called bureaucratic BS. Excess layers of processes that hinder swift decision-making and innovation. The more bureaucratic a company becomes, the harder it is to stay agile and responsive to market changes. To combat this, companies must unlearn ineffective processes and embrace simplicity. This means involving employees at all levels in unlearning initiatives and encouraging them to take ownership of streamlining operations. Reducing bureaucracy frees organizations to act quickly, make better decisions and innovate effectively in a rapidly changing environment. Ultimately, agility isn't just about moving fast, it's about fostering a mindset of flexibility, resilience and openness to change. By adopting these qualities, you can successfully navigate disruption, adapt to new challenges and seize opportunities for growth. Chapter 3, R is for Risk. The future isn't predetermined, it's shaped by those who make bold decisions and act with courage. Courage, in this sense, becomes not just a desirable trait, but a critical tool for navigating uncertainty. Adopting a contrarian mindset is one way to approach risk intelligently. Rather than taking a cautious wait-and-see stance, individuals and organizations must act swiftly and decisively in today's high-speed environment. By challenging conventional thinking and taking bold actions, they position themselves to identify new opportunities early. Leaders who adopt this approach develop a courageous edge, helping them stay ahead of disruption and tap into growth when others hesitate. Central to this approach is embracing what can be called billion-dollar beliefs, transformative ideas that have the power to reshape an industry. These beliefs help you focus on what really matters and guide you toward high-impact decisions. While many become paralyzed by uncertainty, future-ready leaders with bold beliefs can cut through the noise, paving the way for innovative strategies and growth. Dwelling on uncertainty drains energy and prevents progress, but focusing on these fundamental ideas provides clarity and purpose. Fortunately, courage is not just innate, it's a skill that can be developed over time. You can sharpen your courage by taking a step back to assess challenges, listening without preconceived notions, and asking the kinds of tough questions that push your thinking. By fostering a culture where experimentation and even failure are seen as steps toward innovation, you can unlock breakthroughs that drive you forward. Overthinking often creates risk aversion and slows progress, especially in larger organizations burdened by bureaucracy. The antidote to this is bold thoughtful action. In this context, being bold doesn't mean being reckless. It means taking calculated risks and making smart decisions even in uncertain conditions. This proactive approach not only prevents negative surprises, but often opens the door to new possibilities. The future's most successful leaders will be those who go beyond maintaining the status quo. They will be relentless learners and disruptors who balance careful risk management with a fearless pursuit of growth. By embracing courage, you too can reap the rewards available to those equipped to thrive in a world of constant change. Chapter 4, E is for Evolution. For too long, trust has been seen as a soft skill, a nice-to-have at best, and anything but a need-to-have at worst. Yet, in today's fast and unforgiving world, trust is the foundation of successful leadership. Without it, organizations falter, cultures erode, and progress slows. Leaders who prioritize trust create environments where people are aligned by a shared purpose and can embrace change. 
Trust is not just a byproduct of good leadership. It's essential for guiding an organization through the complexities of today's challenges. When trust is high, individuals and organizations experience faster decision-making, reduced costs, and greater collaboration. When trust is low, everything slows down, risk-taking becomes stifled, and costs rise due to inefficiencies. Building trust is critical because it encourages people to take ownership, act decisively, and contribute to innovation. One of the biggest barriers to trust and growth is the tendency to stay within echo chambers. In cultures where conformity dominates, ideas aren't challenged, and innovation suffers. Future-ready leaders must break this cycle by encouraging open dialogue and allowing diverse opinions to shape decisions. The best ideas often emerge from robust debate, where different perspectives refine and strengthen each other. Collaboration is at the heart of successful evolution. Great ideas rarely come from isolated individuals. They come from teams working together, sharing insights, and sparking creative solutions. Leaders who foster a culture of listening and openness create an environment where collaboration thrives and new possibilities are unlocked. Another key component of building trust is addressing employee well-being. Today's workforce is often overworked and overwhelmed, making it difficult to stay engaged. Leaders must prioritize well-being as a central part of their strategy. When employees feel supported, they're more likely to embrace change and contribute meaningfully to the organization's goals. Leaders must also develop a listening mindset. In a world filled with distractions, genuinely listening to others has become a rare and powerful skill. Those who listen to understand, not just to respond, will build stronger relationships with their teams, creating a deeper sense of trust and connection. This type of communication fosters a culture where trust can flourish. At its core, trust is the bedrock of evolution. Without it, individuals and organizations cannot grow, adapt, or innovate. Focus on cultivating trust, and you will be better prepared to navigate the challenges of tomorrow. In this summary, The Upside of Disruption, by Terence Mori, you've learned that in a world where disruption is the new normal, embracing change with open arms is the key to success. Final Summary Those who see disruption as an opportunity, not a threat, unlock fresh paths for innovation and growth. The most successful leaders don't just react to shifts, they anticipate and drive them. In the coming years, those ready and willing to embrace data, agility, risk, and evolution will come out on top. That is, those with a dare mindset will not only survive as the future continues to accelerate, but thrive. The future belongs to those brave enough to take risks and challenge the status quo. By viewing disruption as a catalyst for progress, you can turn uncertainty into possibility and shape an exciting, dynamic future for yourself and those around you. Thanks for listening. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe to the Literary Digest for more videos like this one. And don't forget to leave a comment below and let us know what you found most helpful. Until next time, Keep striving for success.